how you got lost. Well, I took us walking because David doesn't sell balloons, which is ridiculous considering the amount of knick-knackery he does sell. <laughs> you know he's not going to be happy with all this. Yeah, well, I am. He nearly spent his birthday in prison, Paddy. <gasps> Happy birthday! You are joking. I thought you said a bit of a gathering, not all this. Yeah, well, I figured I'd neglected my embarrassing mum bit lately. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Cheers. Dad, right, well, sit down. You can open your prezzies while Marlon does your slap-up breakfast. Mm. You are getting spoiled today. No arguing. Great. It didn't occur to you to ask before I knew more, but... How many times? I did try to ring you. And he is Moses' dad. Well, uh, the fact that he handles guns, it doesn't even bother you, does it? Oh, you just can't help yourself, can you? Debbie asked you to look after Moses. Kane, he is your family, and I haven't seen you trying to look after him much. And I'm trying to run the farm here too, you know. Yeah, so I promise you're going to look after him if you're just going to dump him on Ross. I haven't just dumped him. That kitchen baby does, and you know it. Oh, well, thanks for the lesson in family loyalty. Only wish you'd stand up for me in the same way. Oh, come on, mate. Give us a rest, yeah? Oh, fine. Right. Have it your way, then. Yeah? Let us know when you know what you want, OK? <laughs> Better get the last of these decks down. Don't risk any bad luck, eh? I think that's pretty much rubbish, Bob. I always take my dad New Year's Day. He didn't stop Ashley leaving me. Uh, may I join you? Help yourself. I'm not very good company, though, sorry. Bit of a mojo killer when your boyfriend dumps you and takes up with his ex. There was no malice in what Ashley did, you know. He, he didn't mean to fall in love with Laurel. It doesn't make me feel any less lonely and pathetic when I'm sat watching four weddings crying into my Vionetta. They're just so together, so quickly. I feel like I'm watching Laurel live my life. Only in slightly smaller jeans, what with their comfort eating. You know, you will find someone else. Thank you. I'm not sure I feel the same, but it's nice to hear you say it. Actually, I could do with your help. I've left some car insurance paperwork at the house and I can't face asking Ashley. Uh, right. My front door key is yours. That one. It sounded very nice on the phone. And they had the best facilities of everything I looked at. More akin to a five-star hotel. Yeah, well, let's reserve judgment, shall we? Hi. You OK there? Uh, we were just admiring your front garden. Uh, it's not really selling itself at the moment. You should come back in the spring. Uh, well, we've booked an appointment to have a look around today. Of course. You must be Mr Thomas. I'm Jenny, the manager. Nice to meet you. Right, let's do this, shall we? If you'd like to follow me. Any luck? Nothing. Someone said a bit of a tidy up. That would be Laurel. Have you tried in here? Thought that was just Ashley's man drawer full of random keys and dud batteries. Oh, dear. I don't understand. I understand perfectly well. Ashley wouldn't do this to you, surely? He suggested it. Once before, and now that he and Laurel are trying to get together again... I can't believe he'd even entertain the idea, let alone be so underhand. Then how would you explain this? Some of our residents help look after the plants and our veg patch. We're always very happy to recruit experienced gardeners. I don't know if I go as far as experienced. Is it a parent you're looking round for? Actually, it's for me. Oh, I see. I do apologise, sir. Um, Ashley has vascular dementia, the very early stages. Hence my research and my options now. Of course. Well, I can assure you our care standards here are very high. 
Everything's tailored to residents' individual needs. Right, uh, should we carry on? Let's see inside. Oh. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry we're late, Chas, love. Happy birthday, Aaron. Cheers. Yeah, happy birthday. It's just a little something from all of us. Well, I, I say all of us, but... Why don't you get sat down? Well, jump came, will you? <laughs> no, Moira. Chocolate at the farm. Oh, before I forget, Leo, to you this, look. <laughs> That's you with the purple legs and the pineapple-shaped head. <laughs> oh, bless him. Or you. Give him my present. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, mate. Got no idea what's in it, but... Do you know how embarrassing this is? Oh, come on, spoil sport. I want to see your little face when you open it. Shut my mouth. <laughs> oh, you don't mind making a fuss of your birthday when you're a kid. I'm be badgering me for weeks about one of them Furbies. Aaron had a Furby? <laughs> no, it was that chore. Sure. I can't remember which birthday it was. It was me eighth, just before you left. Right, yeah, so it was. I'm going to sort the food. We run lots of different groups, but we're particularly keen on singing therapy. Everyone certainly seems to get a lot out of it. Do you keep the doors locked all the time? As a precaution, yes. We take our residents' safety seriously. Shall I show you some of our residents' rooms? Most overlook the gardens. OK, yes, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to nip to the loo. You might want to use the visitors' toilet in the next corridor. That one's really for residents. OK, sure. Hang on, I'll show you where you're going. No, it's OK, I'll find it. Hey, what are you doing? I need my hat for work. And I'd borrow one of Marlon's if his head wasn't so big, in both senses of the word. Why aren't you with Aaron? Uh, I just wanted a quick word about Vanessa. Look, I was thinking, um, about this place and that spare room that we got going. Come on, spit it out. Well, I wondered if we could ask her and Johnny if they wanted to move in with us. Look, just hear me out, OK? It would only be a for a few weeks, and it's only while you're so tiny and everything's so full on at the minute. OK, all right, so you want us to sacrifice our lovely, chilled, baby-free home 24-7? Listen, I know it's a massive ask, OK? I get that. But come on, Vic, it's pretty obvious Vanessa's not finding it that easy right now. And look, to tell you the truth, I spent more time with Johnny in hospital than I have in the last week since he's come home. Right, so you need to talk to Vanessa to sort some proper time with him. No, I don't. Because I don't want to just grab the odd hour here or there. Look, I'm his daddy, you know? I, I want to be with him. Whilst he really needs me. Oh, please, Vic. I'm begging you here. Look, I'm never going to get this time back again, am I? If it's really that important to you, then OK. Serious? <laughs> Thank you, babe. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, got your text. Everything OK? I, um, <clears throat> I needed to tell someone what I'd done. Nurse? I've asked the DNA place to redo the test. I, I couldn't help it. It's been driving me crazy. I thought you said you were just being silly. Look. If there is the tiniest chance that Kirin might be Johnny's dad, I have to know. This is massive, Rona. Hey. You've been crying? Yeah, I tried not to. It just, you know, it just came over me. Aren't you scared? You know, everything about this place, how people are, this... This shouldn't be you, Ashley. Laurel, I can't stop what's coming to me. But you, you have a choice. If you change your mind, it really would be better to say no. No, I'm, I'm allowed a wobble, that's all this is. Yeah, you are. But I must say, your timing couldn't be worse. 
Ashley, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. No, I'm sure you didn't. Although you can't blame me for being a little upset at you bursting to tears. Whilst I'm forced to grin and bear this, especially when all I really want to do is run screaming from this building. I don't think I've ever needed your support more. So if you don't think you can give it to me, please, I am begging you. It really would be kinder to say it now. Yeah. Um, you're OK if we get off now, Ross? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Just glad you could come. Yeah, me too. Lunch will always better than me pack up. Mm -hmm. Oh, charming, Sam. Things will get easier, you know. Oh, thanks, Chas, love. Right, you enjoy yourself rest of the day. Oh, well, cheers for mm -hmm. coming. Yeah. See you later. Cheers, see you later. Hey, listen, uh, I could really do with going and sorting something out. Don't mind, do you? I'll be back before you know it. So you haven't booked a magician for the afternoon? <laughs> Very amusing. I won't be long. And then we can spend the rest of the afternoon together. Just you and me. Yeah, great. Go on, then. I'll see you later. Thanks, Marlon. See you in a bit. Go on, Marlon. You get off as well. I'll finish up here, mate. Hmm? Well, I suppose I could go and breed down Victoria's neck some more. Are you sure? I'm sure. You want to start talking? <sighs> what about? It's, it was nothing. I was just messing about. You were trying to hurt yourself? No, I wasn't. So why did it? Well, I don't know. I was just, I was just stressed. It's like you throwing a random bloke up against the wall just for the fun of it. Is this to do with your dad? Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it probably is. It's just messed me head up a bit. And the counsellor says that new stuff might trigger it. Look, if I know what it is, I can control it, can't I? And I'm supposed to believe that? Well, it's the truth. Look, Kane. You can't say anything to me, Mum. It's just going to freak her out after everything she's been through. If you're lying to me... I'm not lying to you, all right? I'm just a bit more embarrassed that I was thinking about doing it than anything. But I'm fine, mate. I promise you, I'm fine. Sorry, babe. Just wanted to spend a bit of time with the main man, if that's all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, dude. <laughs> so, how's it all going? Mm, OK ish on the whole. Well, I haven't been vomited on yet today, so that's a bonus. <laughs> So, do you think it would be easier with a little bit more help? Why, have you got some free nanny on standby? No, no, I was, uh, I was thinking more like you're moving at us. Yeah, I know, j just for the time being. J just why so small? With you and Victoria? Yeah, why not? I mean, come on, we could all help out. You know, pitch in with the night feeds, take the pressure off you. No, I can't ask you to do that. Yes, you can. And besides, I'll get to see him a lot more. Oh, and then once you're back on your feet, Boom, right? You can move back in here, no problem. Yeah, well, don't you think Johnny's already turned your life upside down enough? How's he supposed to do that? He's my son. <sighs> all right, just, just think about it. That's all I'm saying. I reckon it could work out for all of us.
I know you meant well, but he's not up to it, not even close, OK? Why, what did he say? Nothing, cos I didn't even let him see it. So how do you know? Because I know him, OK? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to make things harder for you both. I just wanted to let him know, OK? And I get that. But Aaron's feelings are the only thing I care about right now. I mean, and our feelings don't matter presumably. <laughs> like I said, this isn't about us. Oh, come on. I'm sure you want to see this... us work as much as I do. <sighs> Maybe, but Aaron comes first. Why can't we have both? Look, I know we've got a mountain to climb where Aaron's concerned, but... at least give me that chance. Come on, Chaz. Only us. Just wanted to see how you two boys were getting on. Would be better if we were left alone to get a decent night's kit. Sorry, mate, I said you probably wouldn't want us bothering you right now. No, only I wouldn't listen because I was too excited about my gorgeous little grandson well, living spare here. Spare us the giddy granny act, will you? Does it look like I'm in the mood? Well, I'm just really glad that you took my advice on board. Your mum's just pleased for you. We realised that looking after a baby on your own is going to take some getting used to. Look, I have not had any kip since Debbie left, and now I can't get any peace and quiet at all. Ross, we're here to help you. You don't even have to ask. Well, you can help me by doing one. Leave us alone and being serious. Right. Single unto myself. <laughs> Harry, what, what are you doing here? Has something happened? Not with us, it hasn't. You? I'm afraid I don't know what's happening. Found it. My one way ticket to God's waiting room. <laughs> Though I doubt if they'd accept me with my lack of being booted out of everywhere. <laughs> Take it you are planning on sending Sandy there. Of course we're not. How can you think that? You saved me the pretense, my dear. Ashley, have I really been such an intolerable old fool? No. No, 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 of course not. Dad, uh, this leaflet. No, you weren't supposed to find it. But it's not meant for you. Don't lie to me. No, I'm not. I was looking at the care home for me. What are you talking about? Why would you do that? Because I'm scared of putting my family through a great deal of pain. I have early onset vascular dementia. So you see, I need you here. More than ever. Whatever you say, you can't guarantee that Aaron won't get hurt. We can't guarantee anything. Look, this could be our chance to make up for past mistake with them. The way we were, you and me, back in the day. You want to see if we can get that back again? You really think we can try again? Well, why not? You were for me back then, Chaz. You still are. Let me prove that I can be there for you both. We'd have to take it slowly. And you have to promise me to keep Aaron totally out of it. Absolutely. I don't want to risk messing this up. Regret this. Trust me. I've only known for sure the last few weeks. I couldn't face telling anyone that, apart from Bob and then Laurel. Now, please don't be angry with me. 
I knew it wouldn't have been fair to let you take this on. You don't think I should have made that choice? Dad. I know it's a lot to take in. But I'm doing okay. Listen, we need to make the most of every day now. Focus on making as many brilliant memories as we can. And that's supposed to take the sting out of it, is it? Fate slapping you in the face. After a lifetime of worrying about others. We don't get to choose when our time's up. Only how we face it. Dad. Well, if you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com slash advice for further information. On the way next tonight, Jeremy's at the front line in the war on gun crime in the return of the Kyle Files. <laughs>